In this video, we are going to see a hands-on practice how to create the buckets and how to upload all the objects into the bucket. We are going to see those who are forgotten to watch the theoretical explanation of this global cloud storage. Please do watch the before video of this video. Okay, then it will be very easy to understand in this video. When coming to this video, now today we are going to see a hands on how to create the GCS Google Cloud Storage Bucket. In the search bar, go and search Google Cloud Storage. Then you are going to get the option called Google Cloud Storage here in the search result. You can observe here enterprises ready object storage click on this after clicking on this like this it is going to open for you here you can see the option called create a bucket click on the create in a bucket now whatever we have discussed the previous video like for example here what we have discussed the parameters in the theoretical video first the parameter is name of the bucket that name of the bucket we have to provide it now okay now we have to provide it now i'm going to give the bucket name very uniquely okay like this you have to give very uniquely you have to give for example if i give anything any of this for example they have mentioned example bucket hyphen one right if you mention like this it won't allow you okay why because it is going to show like this the bucket name is already taken so it should be very unique okay now what i did is after giving the name of the bucket what i'm doing is click on the continue after that the next parameter is what the next parameter is nothing but choose where you want to store your data now if you see here if you select the region it is going to show the single region, dual region, and the multi region, whatever we discuss it. Now, let us take if I select the region, now see what is going to happen. If I select the region, now what is happening here? The cost it is going to so show here. Now, let us take if I select only the single region, it can be any of the region. If I select the region, now we can see the definitions also they have mentioned, the description also. What is going to happen if you select this option? Now I selected the region. Now we can see the cost. What it, how much it is going to show? 0 0.020 dollars. If you select any dual region, here I'm going to select the location called America region. Two regions you have to select. For example, I'm going to select North America, and again I'm selecting North America. Now we can see here what is happening for the one region. It is going to charge 0 0.0253. Other one more region it is going to charge one more uh, means ex uh, another amount then the default replication cost also it is going to charge okay now we can observe here these are the prices pricing for the two regions why because we selected the dual region so that's why it is selected the two regions so it's charging the cost for uh, two regions along with the replication cost also okay next the same way the multi-region also will be there you can select the multi-regions here the same thing is going to happen here also for now what i'm doing is simply i'm selecting the region for your practicing purpose i'm selecting normally region then click on the continue now after that the next parameter we are going for is choose how to store your data how we have to store the data as we discussed there are different uh, classes will be there so if any your file was frequently accessed here they have mentioned the de uh, descriptions also if any file was frequently accessed please select the standard so now i am selecting the standard why because my file is frequently accessed so i have i won't i'm going to keep a standard as a option then continue the next parameter what it is asking choose how to control the access to the object as we discussed the bucket level access and object level access now you can see here as we discussed this one the theoretical way 
so now here you have the two options called uniform axis control fine-grained axis control that we have discussed that they are asking you what they are asking uniform or fine grain if i give uniform what is happening bucket level axis is going to be given you can see here bucket level axis is going to give it if you select the fine grain what is happening object level axis it means object level permission will be given so at now i'm going to keep uniform and i will keep continue that finally the next one what we have discussed in the theoretically choose how we are going to protect your file it means object the two things we have discussed object versioning and the retention now if you see here here you can see the check boxes object versioning if you check this box now it is going to ask that how many maximum number of versions per object it is asking if you want to keep any how many versions you want that many versions you can keep or if there is no any object versioning is there that time you can uncheck this check box you know need so here you can see the retention is there if you check the retention that time what is going to happen is here you can enable the retention for the both the cases for the bucket you can keep the retention but the object also you can keep the retention now i'll show you for the bucket level okay now what i'm doing is here now i'm going to select the bucket level retention bucket retention now what is happening is if i mention any particular duration okay for example if i mention 120 seconds the seconds you can keep any of these things for example if i mention one year if i mention like one year whatever the files if i uploaded in the bucket that cannot be deleted and that cannot be modified until the year completes so for your understanding purpose now i'm going to show you for 80 seconds means 180 seconds or 120 seconds i'm going to keep 120 seconds i'm going to keep i'll show you that the difference also now simply finally you are going to click the create button uh, create button now i'm going to click on the confirm now you can see what it is going to show is your bucket was going to create it now here the bucket was create right your bucket was created successfully okay now we can see all the options where the location which storage class you have used and all bucket level protection you have given and all it is going to show here right now i am going to show you how to upload the files into the bucket it means how to upload the objects into the bucket you can see the option called upload click on that and uh, upload the files now whatever the files you want you can upload for example i'm going to upload what file now you will see the file was going to upload now you can see the file was uploaded the date it is going to show the size it is going to show and all it is going to show right yes now this object was uploaded into the bucket okay now if i try to delete this bucket now see what is going to happen now check the checkbox and uh, click the delete button and click on the delete now what is happening here now here it is not going to delete for example if i click on the view details at the bottom here it is going to show that it was failed why it was failed to delete if you open this you can see that retention policy it is a retention policy it is showing what i told i have kept there 120 seconds i have kept right once that 120 second was completed uh, once 120 seconds was completed after that that retention policy will be disabled then you can delete your object okay now i'll show you after the 120 seconds it means after two minutes i'll show you that how if i create whether it uh, sorry if i delete whether it is deleting or not i'll show you after the two minutes now if i try to delete after two minutes it means after completion of 120 seconds now if i try to delete check the checkbox delete 
click on the delete now what is happening here you can observe that it was deleted right now it was deleted it means once the retention policy period was completed then you can delete it okay that is the use of the retention policy in the gcs the next one is how to delete this bucket also how i want to delete this bucket also how we are going to delete the bucket is now simply click on the left arrow here you can see the option called uh, here when you have the checkbox click on that here you have the option called delete option click on the delete now it is going to ask you to manually enter the delete word you type the delete word from your keyboard then confirm it and delete now what is happening here your bucket was deleted right now it is telling no more rows to display so that is in this video we have seen how to create the bucket and how to insert the object and retention policies and we have seen the uh, what is going to happen if the retention period are there if i modify or if i try to delete it and after completion of the retain pe retention period we have deleted also and we have deleted the bucket also that and all we have seen in this video the next video we will see the one more topic topic thank you